Oh, hello, my name is Conrad and I'm 14 years old and I'm from Adelaide, South Australia. In January 2019, I visited Kakuma Refugee Camp in Northwestern Kenya. I went in the camp planning to interview people because I wanted to get a sense of what life was like to come from conflict. When you grow up, what do you want to be? I would like to be a surgeon. Uh, why is this? It is because in our country there is war and many doctors are being killed and our people are suffering from cancer. I would like to help them. Um, if you could have something that you don't currently have, what would that be? A father. I expected everybody to be quite down and quite sad because they didn't have luxuries that I do and we do. But it was the complete opposite. Everybody was very happy and very welcoming. So walking through the camp, everybody was smiling. You could always see people with smiles on their face. My name is Chuck Mapia. And what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an accountant. Why do you want to be an accountant? Because I like this because I'm in calculation. <laughs> Uh, I understand you have the highest exam score in Takana. Yeah. You feel proud? Yeah. Uh, why do you go to school? I go to school because I want to achieve my career. So the schools in the camp were probably one of the best parts about the camp. Yeah, that's where everybody was very happy. Yeah, no one was sad in the schools. They were just happy to have an education. We complain about getting homework here when they don't get the chance and when they do get the chance it's it means a lot to them yeah my name is Rachel and I'm from South Sudan oh when you grow up what do you what do you want to be when you're older when I'm old after my studies I would like to be a doctor a oh, doctor uh, why is that it's because I've seen a lot of people in the places I go a lot of people are a lot of people are suffering a lot from different diseases, so that's why I decided to become a doctor, so that I can help treat those diseases. I would like to build my own hospital, then, then I hire some people to help me do that work, because I cannot do it alone. Then I go back to my home country, so that is South Sudan. Then I make a hospital and an orphanage too for the orphans. So what forced your family to leave your birthplace? It was because of war. No, my dad died in 2010. That's when my mom came in. Oh, what do you want to be when you're older? When I finish my studies, I would like to be a pilot. Oh, why is that? You know, in our country, in South Sudan, it's just one girl who is a pilot, and I would like to be the second girl. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, I've just finished interviewing girls in the Angelina Jolie school in Kakuma refugee camp in Kenya. It was a real eye-opener, seeing the differences from what the luxuries that we have in Australia that they don't have, and how we don't have to experience war, and they do, and it's not because of how, how they were born, it's just luck. You get a feel for what it's like when refugees have to come over from Kakuma into Australia. You're by yourself and it feel, you can feel quite lonely at times, but then again, you can feel quite welcome. You can feel quite welcome in the camp, but I'm not sure if that really goes for Australia. Oh, so class sizes inside this um, schools in the camp could reach 200 students, listening to one person up the front of the classroom trying to explain something. So sport means a lot to them. It's kind of like a religion. It stays with them wherever they go. It's something that distracts them from the horrors of war, conflict, suffering. Yeah, and it was quite powerful. You could see people played it, not just because it's fun, but because it offered something else. We take everything for granted. We never really have to put our minds to anything because we all have it, we have it laid out for us on a plate. 